earlier today at the Riverside entrance of Clydebank College campus, a demonstration was held by local police and Strathclyde Fire and Rescue. It showcased the events which would take place following a serious road traffic collision. Between the hours of 9am and 4pm, students and staff at Clydebank College were witness to a realistic traffic collision staged by local police and Strathclyde Fire and Rescue. The emergency services present dealt with the situation as they would a real crash showing the students and staff present what the severe consequences of a drink and drug driving would be. The aim of this event was to raise awareness of dangerous driving, more so among 17 to 25 year olds. OK, we decided to, to run the Clyde Bank uh, Carnage exercise, basically because unfortunately there's a number of road traffic collisions take place in uh, Strathclyde's area, a high number of which are including um, people for between the 17 and 25 age bracket. So we thought that the Clyde Bank College would be a good vehicle to um, basically approach the, type, the, the individuals within that age bracket um, and I, identify the, the kind of issues that, that we have and highlight any kind of um, any points that we, we, we wish to raise. A high number of the, the incidents that happen are between the 17 and 25 age, age bracket. So it was basically a matter of uh, showing them the possible outcomes of uh, of their their, their actions, um, and basically, hopefully that they would they would think um, prior to stepping into a, to a vehicle. Well, basically, it was a, a multi-agency event um, involving Strathclyde Fire and Rescue, Scottish Ambulance Service, and Strathclyde Police, um, in conjunction with Clyde Bank College themselves. The exercise itself took the format of um, a motorcyclist had been hit by a car. Um, two private motor vehicles had then collided and there was a number of injuries within. What we were hoping to achieve was, as I say, to, to try and get the, the, the point across um, for people to, to basically think. One of the, the vehicles themselves uh, was overloaded. Uh, also the driver had been texting prior to the, the accident happened, obviously taking his, his mind off the, the road itself. And there was uh, drink induced as well, so he had a, a couple of drinks prior to stepping into the vehicle. Um, so it was basically, there was one uh, motorcyclist injured, there was one um, injury to a second vehicle which a female was in with to basically, in that scenario, would to take the roof off the vehicle to remove them because of the, the spinal injuries. But basically a matter of uh, Strathclyde Police, the, the, their kind of role in this would be to maintain the road, make sure that the road's basically safe for us to, to work in. Um, we would then step in and... Um, assisting the removal of people from the vehicle and then passing them to the ambulance service um, for obviously triage and um, treatment prior to being removed to hospital. What I would suggest is that uh, under no circumstances should you be drinking and driving, it will impair uh, your thought process, um, it will slow your reactions time down um, and it's it's basically a, a kind of no tolerance thing for the police as well, so under no circumstances should you be drinking and driving. One of the great things about it was that it involved lots of departments working together um, on the same project to the same deadlines and there was a real sense of achievement at the end of it that the students who had previously not known each other were talking to students from other departments and making good contacts there. Um, we had the fashion and makeup department involved, we had the motor vehicle, we had photography students, communication and media students, and we even had a computing student involved in the acting process. So from a college point of view it was great to have a project that involved so many students from so many different departments. And of course the audience came from all around the college, and they, they braved the rain and stood there in the wind and rain watching what was happening below and um, they were very much part of it as well. Um, another great thing from the department's point of view and the college's point of view was the opportunity to work with um, partners outside of the college, um, Strathclyde Fire Service and the Ambulance Service as well. So we've made good contacts there and we would anticipate in the future and been able to help take across the, the safety message that the, the whole project was about. Um, and speaking to students afterwards through some of the focus group research that was conducted by the HNC students, it was clear that the message did get across to an awful lot of the people who, who watched it. Um, they did think twice about texting while driving or you know putting their seatbelts on, um, having too many people in the car. So, so that was great to feel that you know possibly even a life has been saved um, through this project as well.
So all in all, um, the students in our department and in the wider college had a very, very positive experience and I think one that will stay with them for a, for a long time in the future.